my name is Michelle Whitmore and I'm the Associate Dean of Students on the Johnson campus. A big, a big welcome all to all of the new students, members of our community and welcome back everyone returning to our community this spring. We hope you were able to join in the variety of virtual activities we provided for you during January in order to connect and stay in touch with friends during this long break. We will continue to provide opportunities for you to connect virtually and safely in person throughout the spring semester. And we encourage you to take full utilization of these opportunities to socialize, to engage, and to learn outside of the classroom. Thank you, Michelle. My name is Erin Rossetti. I'm the Director of Student Life on the Linden campus. Michelle mentioned the events and activities that are available to you throughout the semester, and our peer and orientation leaders wanted to share with you a collection of their favorite memories pre and post COVID-19. Their hope is that these memories provide a warm reminder of some of the fun activities and traditions we have on our campus, which encourage and provide social, intellectual, and fun ways to connect and learn. I would now like to introduce our peer and orientation leaders from the Johnson and Linden campuses to share their memories with you. Hey everyone, my name is Amanda Rosaldo and my favorite memory from my time here at NVU Johnson was the art trip that I took to New York City in 2018. My name is Opal Savoy and my favorite memory of being at Johnson is sitting on the third floor of the library and watching all the people go by. Something that I appreciate post-COVID is that people are more engaged in their classes, which make it more fun and more interesting. Hi, my name is Kayla Ball, and um, last semester I had the wonderful opportunity of being able to join my first um, college sports team. And so my favorite memory is um, serving the ball over the net for the first time while playing volleyball. Hi, my name is Garrison French, and uh, my favorite memory is moving into my apartment last semester. Um, we're currently in it, set up for Christmas. I mean, it's already passed, but we haven't taken anything down yet. So, uh, yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Lauren Brown, and my favorite memory, it's pre-COVID, is being able to ski at Burke Mountain because this is the first time I ever skied before, and I just got out of my comfort zone, and it was really fun, and I never thought I could do it, but I did. Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Huff and this past fall I joined News 7 Newslink, which is the newsroom on the Linden campus and even amidst COVID I was able to go out into the community, meet some wonderful people and be able to film a rubber duck derby and chase rubber ducks downstream for several hours and it was a great time and I can't wait to do it again next year. My name is Alia and my favorite memory at London is the different sports and athletics events. Hi, I'm Quinlan Peer. Uh, my favorite memory is when uh, Tammy from the Stevens Dining Hall on the Linden campus gave out uh, holiday cards uh, to all the students in the dining hall. Hi, my name is Jill McDonald, and my favorite memory on the Linden campus is Greg Fest, which is a music festival in memory of Jake Greg. How's it going, everyone? My name is John Habershaw. Uh, my favorite memory of NVU Linden um, is just building relationships with new people each, each semester, uh, being able to uh, create new connections and everything like that. Hi, everyone. My name is Devin. Uh, my favorite memory on the Linden campus has to be last spring when we hosted our first uh, Winterfest. Oh, hey, everybody. It's my honor to welcome you to spring. Yeah, it's, <laughs> well, spring semester anyway. We're not quite ready for spring weather, but we have spring semester is upon us. And I am, I truly am honored to be, to have been invited to talk to you today a little bit. There are, there are two groups of students that I particularly want to welcome back and, and speak to first, uh, first thing today. Uh, the first one is we have some brand new, brand new Badgers and Hornets. And uh, you folks are, you know, welcome to our community, but, but you have also already demonstrated something that's really, really important. 
And that is you have tremendous decision-making abilities because you have selected Northern Vermont University as your, as your school of choice. Um, you are going to find that, you're, that, that what you expected and what you hoped would happen here, that's how it's gonna be. This is, a, this is a wonderful place to go to school and we are all so happy to have you. And so welcome, welcome to our, welcome to our community. Uh, and, that, and that covers both the Johnson campus and the Linden campus. We have new students arriving uh, in both locations. Now, the other group of students is the group that is returning. All, and I could, I'm imagining all of your smiling faces. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see them in person, uh, but welcome back to everybody who has been with us you know, for a semester or, or for longer. And I want you to just, just think for a minute about when you were a brand new, Hornet or Badger. And, you know, maybe you were a little lost. Maybe you were, things were new, you were slightly confused about how to do things. Uh, if you should come across a brand new Hornet or Badger this semester, um, let's do what we always do, which is to reach out and help, help that person, you know, get oriented um, and get their problem, get their problem solved. So again, everybody, faculty, staff, Johnson, Linden, welcome, welcome to the spring semester. Uh, I'm Bill Morrison, by the way. Uh, I'm the chair of the business department uh, at NVU on both the Linden campus and the Johnson campus. Um, I've been thinking a lot about what kind of helpful or inspirational message I could provide to everybody uh, at, at this point in the middle of a global pandemic. And um, I came up with a couple things. I mean, the first thing I thought about was um, how easy it might be to make to make some conclusions or decisions about your future in the middle of what is admittedly a pretty a pretty tough year. And uh, that made me think about my my old college roommate Nibs, uh, who was on I think he was on academic suspension the day after we moved in to uh, Randall One Twenty Seven on the campus of UNH. Okay, I'm exaggerating. It wasn't quite that fast. But uh, let's just say he had uh, a wonderfully fun first semester at college, and it wasn't terribly uh, productive on the academic side. Some people probably counted him out at that point and thought this is not for him. He's probably not going to be successful. But uh, Nibs went on to finish his four-year degree in four years, something I did not do, by the way. Uh, he then went to a little school called New Hampshire College, which is now a big school known as Southern New Hampshire University, he earned his MBA. And uh, he, he worked his way up through his career and became the president of an international uh, manufacturing company. Uh, what's most important, I think, about that story is that he did not count himself out. Others may have, but he did not. Uh, and so that's something we all can think about while we're in the middle of um, of, of a couple of what's gonna be a couple of challenging semesters for sure. But the, the thing I came away with that I thought I really would share with you today is this. So my inspirational message uh, for you today is this, look for the spaces between the trees. That's it. Look for the spaces between the trees. The uh, OELT students and faculty surely know exactly what I am talking about. Um, and I'm referring personally to a little ski lesson that I had maybe 15 years ago where David Buckdahl, who was the academic dean of CCV at the time, uh, invited me to do some glade skiing. And uh, he said he was going to teach me how to do this. I, I don't remember that there was a lot of instruction. It, pretty much he dove in from the top and I had to follow. And I was doing particularly well my first time through the glade until I hit, literally skied into probably the biggest tree. Uh, in the glade. I mean, literally you couldn't miss it and I did not miss it. When I finally got out of that glade, he looked at me and said, Bill, what were you looking at as you were going through the glade? And I said, David, I was looking at the trees. I didn't want to hit one. So I was trying to pay attention to where they were. He said, Bill, the way to ski through a glade is to look at the spaces between the trees because you're going to go where you're looking and then you will not be skiing into the obstacles that are in your way. 
and, and I've thought about this over the years a lot, way more probably, <laughs> way more probably than I should have. But this isn't just a ski lesson. This is really a life lesson. This is a career lesson that we all have. I mean, particularly now, there are a lot of obstacles in our way. And we can focus on those obstacles exclusively if we want to, or we can begin to look for the spaces in between those obstacles. And I think that if you can acknowledge the obstacles that are, that are in your way, too much screen time, another semester of remote learning, uh, restrictions on mobility and gathering with other people, and all, the list is long, right? And you can focus on that. But once you've acknowledged those things, I'm encouraging you to look for the spaces between those obstacles, because that's where you're going to find some opportunities to move, to move ahead. Maybe you're going to get a, you know, into some new activities as a result of that. Maybe you'll meet some new people. As weird as that sounds, maybe you'll meet some new people as a result of that. So my, my key message is, yes, acknowledge all the difficulties. We kind of have to do that. But look for the spaces between the trees, because that's where you're going to find it. That's where we're going to find some opportunities to make this the best semester, maybe that it that it can be. So with that, I, I'm I'm going to just finish up by saying, let's have the best spring semester that we possibly can have, and let's work hard to help one another get from where we are right now to the end of the semester, and hopefully a brighter and much more normal future. Uh, in the next few coming months. So thank you everyone and have a great semester. Welcome. 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 Welcome and welcome home to Northern Vermont University. The Northern Vermont University. The Northern Vermont University. We're so happy to welcome all of our new students to the NVU family. We want you to know that we will do everything we can. Everything we can everything we can to make NVU your home. To make NVU your home, even if you're studying from afar. We want to welcome our returning students back to classes. It's been a very long two months and we have missed you. The NVU faculty and staff are here to help you settle back in and begin anew. Whether you're learning on campus or off, in a classroom, in your residence hall, or even from your kitchen table at home, we're here to help you navigate the hurdles that sometimes pop up. To manage the COVID-19 safety measures required to keep everyone safe. And are honored to serve as guides on your path towards fulfilling your dream. It's the deepest part of winter in our campus communities right now. It's snowy and cold and so very bright, but oh so bright when the sun shines down. All that's missing here is you. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And don't forget, don't forget. And don't forget. And don't forget. Mask up, NVU. Mask up, NVU. Mask up, NVU.